Hello guys, how are you doing? I'm doing good. You see we got some items here. We're out by the water temple. Let's get to work. So I'm we're gonna do a little bit of Minecraft theology here, talk about a discussion, but let me show you some of the goods that we've got. This is just from picking up the water temple stuff. Uh, we even have some extra stuff in there to make more resources if and when we do decide to do it. But we're going to work on this water temple a little bit more. I have done a ton of work. So I want to show this off to you before we actually get into our topic. Oops, got out early. So I have removed all of this, as you'll see. Um, over here in just a sec, I'll show you this side. The water is now down to this much, which means if we go underneath... We have tons of mobs in a very small place. And then if we go down here, you'll notice we got still all this to do. We're actually going to do that on camera. And if we go over here, we've got all of this. This is the other side. So we've got all of this uh, basically sponged out and then the lower walls removed. So I figure on camera, let's go ahead and take out all of these little pillars while we have a discussion. Now, there's gonna be a lot of parts where I'm not sure where the water is. I know that at least right here, we can't take this out because there's water right there. That's where all those mobs were. Um, so we may accidentally pop open some areas. That's fine. I'm not really worried about it. We're just worried about getting block removal for right now. So as far as a discussion on um, today's Minecraft theology. I wanted to quickly talk to you guys about So this is a really difficult conversation for me because I have my own opinions about it in general And then I'm gonna add a digital nature to it so for me Honesty is a very important quality to have um, It involves integrity it involves respect it involves just compassion and being a good human being to another person Along with, you know, the fact that that's exactly what God commanded us to do is to be honest in all things and all things be able to do that with the utmost um, integrity and um, compassion for other people. And so there's this, this difficulty that I struggle with in the concept of honesty online. Now, there's a lot of forms of honesty. I'm not here to validate YouTube trollers, um, they would say, oh, I'm just being honest with you. I'm not looking for that because there's respect. There's compassion for the other person, which I just listed is part of the truth process. You can be 100% truthful and not be a jerk about things online. So let's just make that clear. I'm not looking for advocating for more YouTube trolls. We have enough of those in the world. We do not need more. But with that being said, I'm really worried about Christianity and truth online. And I've run it, I don't know if it's just the time of the year or where, who I'm interacting with personally online. And I, I'm not calling anybody out here. That's not my job, but I am concerned about that process with Christians online. We do need to light up this area. I accidentally had two different creepers explode. There was a huge hole here and a huge hole right over there, which made for a lot of water spilling out. And we still have creepers here. So this is the other part I didn't show you guys yet. This is underneath the water. We have all of this removed. I have enough, if I go in here real quick, by real quick, I mean it takes a while because this water's streaming down. But if we go into here, we have this wall right here. And if I remember correctly, I think this is the last of the water underneath the water temple because if we were to go over here, that's actually the other side of the water temple. So this is literally the last strip I have to do. I think I'm probably 85% of the way done as far as water removal. And then I've got to remove all these blocks, which we're doing on camera right now. So we're getting there. I think we will have by the next, probably the next Minecraft theology, Definitely by the, not next let's play, but the let's play after that, we will definitely have a working water temple farm. So that's exciting to have up eventually. Um, so as far as honesty on the internet, so let me talk a little bit about this. I think that there's a lot of 
issues with wanting to connect with people but then there's also this like it's the wild west and i can make a name for myself and i can do a lot of different things um, even for people that are working on businesses and trying to engage online there's this sense that i can go ahead and kind of be a little bit anonymous online and kind of get away with stuff um and it's really hard for me to kind of have this conversation without giving examples so let me give a what could, example could i give um one example is i know that there was a thing where we had talked to, about a product that we did not agree with sometime in the past and we were just blunt about it we weren't like trying to rip them we weren't trying to um in any way harm their business we just were being honest about our own feelings about the product um Previously, they had asked us to do a review of their product. We said, if you guys want us to do a review of the products, we're probably going to be really honest about it. And we don't think that you guys are going to like the response that we have. And they said, that's fine. Let's not do it. And then it came up that they mentioned us and we had to go ahead and then give our honest review right there. And they didn't like the fact that we were putting down their product um, after they had kind of just called us out and said that we were attacking them and so when we gave their when we gave our response to that process it was really difficult because they were hiding behind this conversation that we had had privately and it was i think a, a very appropriate conversation um, and then they go on the internet and they post as anonymous people saying i think that you're probably wrong in this conversation they don't give any link back they don't give the fact that they're actually the company that they are agreeing with and so it's very manipulative it's very dishonest um, and in many ways does not represent christ which is difficult because this is a christian organization and my, in my initial gut it's just like what in the world i do not i will never support this company because of their lack of integrity and qualities and characteristics in christ and their inability to be authentic and have a conversation online about what's going on it's let's get the sales let's move on let's let's do what we need to do and i get it, it's important because you got to feed your kids i'm not here to take away sales from anyone and and that's ultimately what led our response was we just didn't give a response um we just simply stuck with our guns and stuck with the facts which is actually something that i encourage people to do whenever they are having difficulty with people as far as honesty within counseling i do this a lot of you can only control yourself you can't control other people and and that's absolutely true online i mean just think about the previous youtube commenters i was talking about you can't expect to control other people's reactions no matter how difficult and and utterly repulsive they are now that being said I think that there's this line between it and I've, I've seen this done before and I'm not sure where I fall with it, especially in the digital mindset of calling out other Christians of saying, Hey, what you are doing is wrong because I, I believe in that, but from a very personal sense, and I don't know these people online digitally in a personal manner. Um, I, if you ask me how many kids they have, I don't know. If you ask me where they live, I would say, I don't know. So I don't actually know them, but I know that they are saying that they are Christians and what they are doing online is not Christ-like. And, and so I wonder what you guys think in that potential situation, how would you respond? Um, is that something where you should go ahead and just call them out and say, how dare you misrepresent Christ and try to use the gospel for your own gain and say you're a Christian and then not act like you online? Or where does that stand for you with other people? Not necessarily yourself, we'll talk about that here in a second, but at least with other people, where do you stand with that process? Now, let's get to the personal nature. So you do have control over yourself, you are able to make those corrections if need be. Um, and I think that it's good to recognize that nobody's perfect. I've screwed up many times in the past. Um, I'm certain there's been times where I've been dishonest at the same time i think that there's been times where i didn't follow my critique just now of let's at least give them the benefit of the doubt and not try to go and destroy their 
um, reputation because of them not being Christ-like for others. Because my in my mind, at least I justified yelling at them, and in some ways I almost feel like I was trolling them at times, was because they were presenting to other people that were not Christians, hey, this is how we act and this is okay. And I, I really do have a difficult time because that's not how we act as Christians. We need to rise above. We need to be the the lighthouse mentality. It's we are the lighthouse to an entire culture and people that don't know what it means to have integrity, respect um, with a God who has taught us these qualities. I'm certain there, there there is a ton of integrity. There's a ton of respect out there. But can we show that with the love of Christ? <coughs> so I think that that's really difficult for me in the digital era. As you can see, I've had a couple of mishaps. So I'm going to have to leave that block there. Um, so uh, it, it's just, I don't know why, but my need for social justice just goes berserk in these scenarios because I feel like it needs to be corrected. We need to stand up for ourselves and for our faith and for our God. Um, not that we need to avenge God because he is his own. Um, he can do more than we could ever imagine to do. Um, we don't, he doesn't need us to protect him, but at the same time, I think that we do need to stand for those qualities. And if another Christian is not standing for that, that we know we need to hold them accountable. I really, truly, honestly believe that process. So where do we stand with this? How do, how do you move forward with that? Um, for me, I know for myself, I, my first and only goal at this point, when I don't know someone online and I don't agree with them is to ask questions and to try to get that personal relationship with someone that I feel like would be appropriate. Um, there's a lot of trolls online. There's a lot of people. So I'm not going to do that with every single person. Um, but that's my initial response. I feel like at least in my gut is if I really have a concern about this and they're really in that position where I'm concerned and I feel like God's calling me to do something about it. That's my first step. It's not to say you're a terrible person. You need to stop though. I've done that in the past and I shouldn't have. Um, but that's, that's my response right now. And it feels, it feels at least right now as a generic and really soft response. <coughs> and, and to be fair, that's what it is. It is a bit of a generic. It is a very soft response, but I think it's a great response to have. We still need to take that roof off. Let's do that right now. So I guess that's my tension. And I would love to hear your guys' thoughts of, um, is it boldness whenever we go and call people out um, digitally that we feel like are erroring? Um, or is it lacking wisdom? And I can see both answers in this process. And, and I think that the context helps a lot. So if you want create your own context for the situation, but what are your guys' thoughts on that process? Um, do we need to go more boldly into situations? Do we need to own up to what could be, um, and have that faith that we are furthering the kingdom or do we realize that a lot of the context gets lost digitally this is a really difficult conversation this is a really difficult point of the conversation is uh, with the digital age context gets lost so quickly i mean if you respond to a snapchat it's gone the story's gone within 24 hours if it's in your twitter feed it's going to roll past people so fast that they're going to move on um, even in your own blog comments get old and stale fairly quickly. So is it worth having that conversation in a, in a environment that just moves so rapidly on to the next concern, the next conflict and, and social justice issue that we need to just always be moving forward. 
obviously I'm being a little facetious because I think that no, that's not the case. Um, but I think it's also something that we don't necessarily take into account when we have arguments online. And so I wonder how can we do this better? And I don't necessarily have the answer for everybody. I have the answer for what I've experienced. Um, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say on this topic because um, we can always grow from each other. What is this? I'm not sure. Weird. It keeps going. Is this the face of the monument? Oops, I need that. Huh. Usually whenever you pull out these little strips, um, water starts leaking out. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was wondering what that was. It just must have been some design. Also, just so you know, I love to not waste materials on this game. So this is driving me batty that you have to kind of do it at an awkward angle just because it's out of reach up there. And then all this stuff is sitting on the ground that could potentially despawn. All right. We're actually getting close to just wiping this whole side out. So I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera. Um, I think our next Let's Play will not feature a water temple. Um, just because we've been here for a little while, I've been focusing on this. So we'll go do something else. Um, I actually have a couple things spurring on. I was thinking we could either do a design for my own personal thing, or we're actually, I'm considering starting a new game. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. So I think the next episode, we're going to do a little bit of design work on my house. Um, as far as my own let's play that we're going to do on this channel. And then we will get to the water temples, water farm. So I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on the conversation of, um, honesty online integrity and compassion and where do you personally stand on it where have you seen it done really well where have you seen it fail miserably if you've seen me fail it miserably i would love for you to call me out on it um because i know that i can sometimes be a impulsive social justice kind of a person and want redemption and to fix the problem right away so call me out on it tell me if i've ever screwed up if i've ever done that to you personally. Um, I'd love to hear it. I would love to be able to apologize to you um, because I think it takes a personal relationship. A lot of the personal relationships I have with people in church mag, I feel like I can call them out if need be. Not that I have had to, um, but I feel like I'm given that permission to be able to do something like that. And ultimately that that's probably where my digital nature stems from within youth ministry is you're just working with a ton of teenagers and those teenagers are constantly being told, no, you can't do this. No, no, that's not going to happen. Um, they're, they're trying to figure out themselves, their identity, their relationships with their family all along the hormones are raging. And then as youth ministry people, we go into their lives and say, you need Jesus. You need to stop doing what you're doing. Um, don't sin, try to find redemption and salvation. And if we don't have a relationship, if we are trying to seek the lost, then we haven't, what, we, what I would call, we haven't earned that right to be heard. And so I think that there's a lot of that going through my mind with uh, the digital nature of things and trying to combat trolls and combat and trying to respond well to people that are Christians online that are not acting very Christ-like. So... Again, love to hear what you guys have to say. If you have any examples, share them. If you completely disagree with me, I'd love to hear that too because I'd love to kind of either set the record straight or hear where I've aired myself. So leave me some comments down below and I will talk to you guys next time. See ya. Bye guys. Oh, underwater. Bye guys. See ya.